So what does what the what's our goal for today? So when I design moving with intentions, everyone comes to yoga class to you know um, work out something. There's this idea of mind, body, and spirit being united, and that's what we're working on, right? So we think about the spirit as this life-giving force, prana, chi. You know, there's other definitions around it, but for um, a better way to sort of grasp it, we can use our breath as a source of our spirit, or as a, not the source, but a way to measure that spirit. Um, we talk about our body, the muscles, the movements, we think about the postures in yoga, but it's also our feelings. And of course, the mind, our thoughts, and also our feelings. So the way that we um, connect these this workshop, we're going to connect mind-body through feelings. And moving with intention implies mindfulness and implies a choice and that you're moving with an awareness that you know you have a, a very specific intent in your movement. But oftentimes, we're not, sure, you know, we're not aware of our movements. It just happens. You know, part of our brain, the, the hind brain, sort of our, our frontal cortex is like the critical thinker, like we make our ideas here. But when we're here and it moves down to move, it has to go through the hind brain. The hind brain sort of sorts it out and smooths out our movements. So without the function of the hind brain, we could be moving like herky jerky, <laughs> right? And the hind brain says like, okay, make it smooth. And the brain's goal is there. It's kind of lazy. It wants to do. It wants to be efficient, right? Like Wing Chun. Um, if there's already a path there, a neuron pathway, it's going to take that. Um, and you know, it doesn't want to create new ones because that would take too much energy. If it already exists, it keeps. It takes that path. So, going back to emotions. What is emotion? Let's define that. And the way that I define emotions is energy in motion. And it's the way that we interact with our surroundings. Something happens, we perceive it, and we feel it. And we can call that emotions. And for that to really be experienced, it has to be emoted. It comes through us and it has to leave us and it has to be emoted. So what happens when an experience is too traumatic? Well, then the subconscious kicks in. The subconscious's job is survival. You know, it beats our heart, it breathes our lungs, it circulates the blood. We don't have to think about that stuff. It just keeps it going. Um, and then when there's a threat, it says, I'm going to take over, I'm going to get this out of here so we can live. And that's what the subconscious does. It's, that's its purpose. So if trauma happens, it triggers a fear response. And subconscious says, don't worry, guys, I can handle it. I'll get this out of here. But now it's created that pathway. And if you get triggered or reminded by something traumatic, the subconscious is like, oh, I remember how to do this. Don't worry, I'll handle it. So what happens? Like, we no longer have our, a choice here, right? Something triggers us, and what I like to call jumping off a cliff. Something triggers us, and we lose control. We just, like, ride this ride, and... You know, it becomes a reactive pattern. We see the same result, we don't move past it, and it's just over and over and over again because the subconscious says, like, I'll take over, and you no longer have control. You no longer can critically think through it because you're cut off from that choice. So what we're doing here tonight is to put that trigger, emotional trigger, and take it from here and put it here so we can look at it and we can now see that there is a choice. But first we have to be aware that, you know, we've kind of given up that ability to choose. Um, and then we're going to move with that. So we want to, so that we can be free of it. We have to let it go through our body so we can emote it. So um, that's the goal for tonight. Be free from those reactive patterns, start living an intentional life and be mindful about the choices and the actions that we take. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna stop this.